morning guys it is January 17 2022 Yo, Martin Luther King Day anyway I got a call from this guy yesterday and he says his is down in his basement so it smells like fumes and he's got the house all the windows open and shit or whatever and he's saying that the guy that went over there did the service won't go back he, after a couple of times, the guy pulled the old COVID-19 deal that he, he's sick with it. He can't go back. So, he's got a power venter over there. He's saying that he's got, it's really bad down there. So, I'm saying to him, how do you expect me to work down there if it's all full of fumes? Oh, it's not that bad. You go down there. You clean that thing. Yeah, no problem. I got my little meter. We'll go see how bad it is. If it's bad, I'm not going in there because it's not safe, right? We'll have to see. He says he's got a power venter, but the guy probably didn't clean it right. Got all full of soot, and the fucking idiot's been running it, blowing the fumes in the house. We'll see how bad it is. I got my little personal carbon monoxide detector clipped on my shirt here. We'll see. That thing starts going off or going high. I'm not walking in that environment. Oh, that's stupid. I'm on my first rodeo, you know. Oh man, it's Molly. Miss Molly, not my first rodeo, Miss Molly. Oh. Might be interesting. He said he got it all taped off down there, keeping all the fumes in the basement. He wants me to go down there and uh, give it the old sniff of rope. Yeah. Okay. Okay, buddy. I, should, I shouldn't even be going to this flipping job, be honest with you. Might make a good video, though. Oh yeah, gotta give me some body bumps, Miss Molly. Gotta give me some body bumps, Miss Molly. Oh yeah, you, you love body bumps, Miss Molly. Anyway, I'll see what happens with this thing. Let's see what my meter says when I get in there. I could smell it, huh? Wow. That's oil? Yeah, we, uh, we've we got a quarter of a tank. It's a steel boiler. You said the power vent is running? Yeah. Let me go turn the heat up for you. No, not yet. Okay. Oh, this looks rusty. Doesn't look sooty. You sure the power vent is running? Yeah, positive. Well, it's not sooty. Yeah, all right. Doesn't doesn't no seal down here. Your damper's kind of queer. Maybe that's the problem. Not all full of soot. That one is. It's not. Which tends to make me think that it's probably the uh, the power venter. It's calling. How come the power venter's not running? You sure the power venter's running? Positive. I can. Uh... Yeah. When you go turn it up. Okay. I gotta get my my light down here and shit anyway, so. The amp is open, I don't see it running. It down so it hasn't been running that long. No, well, it takes 90 seconds for the zone valves, but this thing is calling, it's off on high limit. Which the power vent that should be running. I've been hearing it run, but maybe it died, I don't know, who knows. Oh, right, there goes the power vent. Don't mean that the fan blade's not all smoked on it, right? Oh no, it's running. It might. What might be happening is the power venter might run and then shut off after a while. 
you know? Yeah. That pulls the fumes out. Yeah. So if that thing gets shuts off and it's not wired right, these fumes will come in the house. Yeah, we're getting no crazy roll out here or nothing. I think it's got to do with your power venter. There's a little motor in there. Sometimes, uh, you know, it might run for a little while yep. and then lock out. What do you? What else you have upstairs? We can get fumes out of. That's it. You know, it's possible that this thing's not sealed right, which it's not. You might be getting some fumes from that. Back to 180. You know what? You see this right here is not sealed properly. Yep. See the breach? Yep. Could be getting a lot of fumes out of that. That has to come apart and be sealed. Let me go see what the uh, what the power vent is doing outside there. Okay. Yeah, looks like a new one. Here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut it off. Yep. I'm gonna seal that breach up on top. Okay. Because it's not sealed. Yep. So the fumes are coming right out from there. Okay. I'll seal that. Yep. And we'll we'll check the we'll check the tubes and we'll get it back together. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna take it apart and seal it good, okay? Okay, good. Yeah, that power vent is not sounding too good, is it? Listen to it. It's been there for a while. I'll oil, I'll oil the motor if I can. Okay. But you have to keep an eye on that. That shouldn't be shutting off. Because that's that pulls that pulls the fumes out. Yep. So if this thing's running and that thing shuts off, yep. the fumes are gonna roll out into the house because it's not being pulled out. That's a chimney. Okay. It's a mechanical chimney. Yep. So I will oil that. Okay. But you have to keep an eye on it also. All right. Because it might run for four hours, three hours, and then get hot and lock up. Okay. And then you shut it off and it cools off and fires back up again. I see. I got it disconnected here. This thing's, this thing's frozen chosen in there. Flipping things loose. She's loose as a goose, mama. She's loose as a goose, mama. I don't think that there's any screws because I checked. That should, that should come off of there. It's not. Hey, take a look at this. See, I got this this disconnected over here. This smoke pipe should come off, and look how loose this thing is. So this smoke pipe has to come off. Then I gotta seal that. I gotta tighten that back down and put this back. Okay. So you see how loose this is? Yeah, Your fumes are coming right out. Uh, That's not supposed to be that tight. I mean, that should come right off. Does that make sense? Yep. No, I hear I you. need to be aware of what the hell's going on here because. Uh, well, when he left the other day, he said my old boiler was getting old. So. Well, obviously. Yeah. Did he say you need a new boiler? He didn't say that. I asked. I'm. I'm. So I'm planning on leaving here in a couple of years. So I asked if it'll last for two years. And, yeah, maybe. Well, let's see if we get it apart and fix it for you. But 
know what I mean. Yeah, see? We'll get this apart. So you think he uh, he touched that at all or no? Uh, no, no, I don't think he did. But look at it. It's not even, it's not even tight. Yeah, no, I hear I mean, you. that's no good. All right. Let me, uh, let me do my thing here. Okay. See if I can help you out, fix it for you. All right, I'm going to try. Okay. It's missing a nut there. Look at that. Not even sealed. That's flipping nuts. There's not even any dampers in there at all. They're all missing. Every one of them. Oh, look at the, the studs are all rotted. See it? They're all corroded. Maybe that's why. Wow, he needs a new boiler. Can't even put the nuts on it. Maybe if I put K-Wool or something up higher. I gotta show this cat this shit. Oh, fucking gone. I might be able to do something, but he's a new boiler. Maybe once I put the K-Wool on there and some washers and a couple of Looks like half inch, half inch nuts maybe. Get that back on there for him. Hmm, I guess it does. I guess it goes on there. A couple of little nuts maybe. I did a job for my neighbors. For my neighbor that died and she never paid the guy. Give him the old, how you doing? She gave me the old, how you doing, you know, well, never paid the guy. Put a new boiler on that house and she never even paid him. That's why I didn't work for the crazy bitch. does need a new boiler. I mean, what can I say? You know, kind of. See if it'll stay. If the nuts don't stay, you can't leave it. If it pops off, it's gonna be screwed, you know. Got a 
to be able to stay. Oh, I can't leave it. Maybe I can put a hose clamp on it or something, maybe. Maybe these brass ones might work. They don't snap. Look at that shit. He ha. Seal it. Yeah, see, now it's sealed. At least now, the exhaust fumes will go out, right? I could use a new boiler, I mean, there's no doubt about that. Alright, I'm gonna top back on and maybe get this smoke pipe back together and maybe we can. I just cleaned it, so that shouldn't be an issue. Couple of screws loose, Mama. A couple of screws up top there, but this maybe on this too. I did fix this. We'll oil the outside, and this should be good now. It's not all flopping in the wind. It's got some 20 weight tranny oil in here. This is what I'm using. I draw 20 weight oil. The shit that comes with this stuff is like crazy. It's like 30 bucks for a little tiny tube. Let's see what happens. We'll check that draft over the fire here, but. We screwed all this thing in good. I screwed the top in. We'll check our draft. It might be too much. I might have to adjust it here. There's a damper up top there I could adjust. The brass bolts on there, they, they were, was not. But it's, it's pretty rusty, crusty. Yeah. I mean, you really do need a new boiler. Okay. Uh, I sealed it. Yep. I got a seal all the way around. I, I re screwed everything in there. I'm gonna check the draft over the fire. I I oiled the power venter outside. Yep. Let me see what we got for uh, draft over the fire here, but I think gonna be alright for now. Okay. So you don't think it's gonna last another two years? I have no idea how long it's gonna last. Yeah. If I'm selling it, I'm probably better off doing it anyway. Well, I think you're better off really kind of like looking into getting a new one anyway. It's a 96. Alright, so that's 4 and 22, that's 26 years. Yeah. They usually get 25 years out of them. Okay. I'm surprised the guy left that like that. He might not have seen it. 
Maybe not, I don't know. Oh, well, I'm just curious what your draft is over the fire on this thing, because there's usually, there's usually baffles inside there. Yeah. There's no baffles in this one at all. So we'll see what our, we'll see what our, uh, our draft is. A little camera comes in handy, huh? Well, when it comes to jobs like this, uh, I really kind of, potential lawsuit. Yeah, you know, I kind of like to record my stuff, you know? Right. Going to play around with, I mean, you guys could die from this shit. I know, you know, this, I, I believe this up here is a carbon monoxide detector. Yeah, but they don't go off, they don't go off to 70 parts per million. Okay. And then you, you're just about dead at that point. Yeah. This one here will read right down to one, two. Oh, really? Yeah. Was there a lot? No, the there wasn't. There wasn't a lot. Okay. That's why I'm thinking it was that boot from the top that was a problem. Okay. Now, where'd you get my number out of the phone book? A uh, uh, guy by the name of Joe Ferreira, he's a friend of mine. Uh, he's a plumber. Uh, he's the Westport director. So he, he can recommend you. He does, he does gas ones, but he doesn't do oil. So oh, okay. I got your name from him. He's an inspector? Yeah, for the Westport. Uh, I'm gonna have to adjust that damper down, I think. No, I'm not getting any draft. Let me adjust that damper down. Boy, I guarantee you weren't getting any draft because it was all loose. <laughs> See, as loose as a goose. You ever hear that saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it could be that your uh <clears throat> see what we got now. Well we're getting some, but Not a crazy amount. I got everything shut off. It could be that your fan, your your, your uh, blower fan out there is just all rotted. Not pulling the way it's supposed to. Uh, the boiler's just all kind of smoked. They cut the air back a little bit. trying to get us to get by with this thing, I mean. Yeah, I'm not really getting any draft. Which is not good. Everything shut off. I got the damper shut off. There's no baffles in the in the thing at all. Not really even getting any draft over the fire, which is not good. I got the damper shut off. The power vent is running wide open. This damper's not shut. It is getting a flow. Your boiler's just smoked, guy. And I did seal it. You're not getting any draft over the fire. 
Okay, so I, what does that, what does that mean? You mean you need a new boiler. Oh, really? Yeah. With all this done, I should be getting crazy drafts over the fire, pulling the fumes out. Okay. I seal the top. Yep. I mean, you get your buy for a, a couple of days, but you're going to need to do a new boiler. You can't wait no two years. Yeah. No. You want to see it? Come over here and I'll show you. No, I don't. I don't. I, I don't want to. I don't want to think it, I'm throwing you a line of shit. No, no, no. I believe you. I Watch this. You. This. This draft. It's got a little hole over the bottom. I'll put my my finger over it okay. to get it to zero. Right. See it zero. Hang on. Hang on. Up. Right see right where I'm at. I'm gonna release my finger. Yep. Okay. And not going. It's not moving. Okay. See it on zero. Yep. I put my finger over it. It should go to like two, two or four over that way. Yep. That means we're pulling we're pulling the fumes out and it's not. I did I sealed the top. I put it all back together. It's still not doing it. Uh, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a new boiler and I mean the power is this old too, so okay. uh, you could probably get by for a couple of days here. Just yep. you know, keep an eye on if you might have to leave that door open or something because there's zero carbon monoxide down here, but it's not something I would let go too long. Yeah, I guess at this point we'll get a quote from you. Yeah, me or somebody else, one of the two, right? I mean, you just can't. Before, with that thing wide open like that, could you imagine what it was like? All that shit was coming in the I, house, I mean, 100%. I, I smelled it the entire, like I said, as soon as, as, soon as he left, I was in, uh, he smelled it. So what should be happening, you should be getting a small draft, negative draft, pulling the fumes out. Yep. Not a lot, but a little bit of a negative because if it goes too much, it pulls all the heat out. Okay. But you're not getting anything here. The thing, and I, I adjusted the, thing, um, the air flow less. So sometimes if you get too much air going in the burner pot, it affects the draft. Okay. But that's not the case. It could be that this, this is a steel boiler. It could be the side of the boiler is just rotted or something too. You know? Yeah. It's not worth dying over. No, I hear you. And a lot of guys would just shut this thing off and red tag it, but I don't. I think it's okay as long as you maybe leave the door open. You, you, you're saying you got it all sealed up upstairs. I don't got no carbon monoxide downstairs here. Okay. But, uh, you need to get a boiler, whether I do or someone else does it, like right away. I, I did show it to you. I no, I proved it. Proved it to you what's going on, so. No, I appreciate you coming out. Pull all this stuff out of here. Just, you'd have to move this stuff out. But. Yeah, so you can get to the other side. I'll have to look. Okay. You got what, two zone valves? Actually, two zones? No, there's a third zone that's coming into my basement and it doesn't work, so if you can fix that, why not Okay, you... what, what's going on with that zone? It doesn't even come on anymore. In a couple of years, it doesn't even doesn't even fire it up. Yeah, there must be a bad head. All right, I'll change. I'll figure on a head for that. The basement one, you're saying? Yeah. All right, so we got attention a quarter. Attention a quarter black. This control, I could just put another power venter in. Okay. Seven-inch smoke pipe, four-inch. Yeah, got an OSV valve here, which is plus a protected oil line, which is a little odd. Let's take a look at the tank here. Yeah, look, it's leaking. That's good. We won't touch the tank. Okay. So all this is going to be cleared out. Okay. Same with this side or? Yeah, all this has got to go. Okay. Unfortunately, so I can get in and out. Either right. that or move this, but I got to be able to bring the boiler in and out, so. You think if I just move everything on this side? Or I can move this into that other room. If you can move this into the other room, I mean, you give me a couple of feet to bring the boiler in and out, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, if you move all this stuff, or even just move that over here somewhere. Take yep. that, put that there. Okay. And then the rest of it's easy, right? Yeah, I think so. Everything else is. Fine. Yeah, and then I can just stuff out. Yep. And I can get in. Okay. 
Yeah, it's already not smelling as bad. I just want to make sure there's no, no CO. He's a new boiler. I got everything blowing as much as I can. I got everything shut off and I'm still not getting a draft. So he needs a, he needs a new setup. Seems to be getting a nice flow here. So this is all rotted and shit. There's a new power number too. Alright guys, just left that boiler job and I couldn't get no draft over the fire. So that tells me that the boiler is probably, the firebox is probably rotted through somewhere or, because I did, I did reseal that breach on the top, bolted it down with some K-Wall and um, I shut the damper off, I re-screwed all the smoke pipe back, we're getting, we're getting flow through the power venter. The power venter damper is not shut and I'm still not getting no draft over the fire so. I told the guy he needs to replace the boiler. I mean, it's a thousand times better than it was, but it's still not right. So he signed the he signed the slip, and I explained to him and his wife what's going on with it. I should be able to get like four or five inches of vacuum over that thing with that power venter. That should pull a crazy amount through that uh, boiler. I'm gonna give him a price on a new boiler, a new power venter, you know, new smoke pipe, and uh, fix the basement zone. And then we'll see what happens. But he can't leave that thing like that. I told him it's good for a couple of days, maybe, so he can have heat in the house. But you can't leave it running like that for no two years. I tried adjusting the, the, the air damper on the side of the burner to give it, you know, less air. So see if I could get a draft and still nothing. So, so I'm screwed up with the thing in, internally. 20, 24 year old, 24 years old, something like that. We'll give him a price and uh, if there was zero CO down in the basement. I mean, if there was a lot of CO in the basement, I would have shut it right off. But that don't seem to be the case. Um, I did check it a couple of times, the CO levels in the basement. Sometimes things are like iffy whether to keep them going or not, and that's one of those that's very iffy. Most guys would have just shut it off and red tagged, the guy would have no flipping heat for a week. I mean, it's been getting really cold over here, it's getting down in the single digits at night. Can't leave the people without any heat, you know. Whether he has me do it or someone else, it's up to him. Well, 